Hey everyone, thank you for joining me for another YouTube video discussion. So, I had this theory that kind of started floating in my head um, since about yesterday after I did my video and an idea came to my head. I started listening to some other theories that people had about uh, Tears of the Kingdom, uh, this, that, and the other. And so I wanted to throw out this theory out there and get your opinions on it as well as give you the opportunity if you want to in the comments down below to share any um or any theories that you have in regards to tears of the kingdom now i did say that we were going to be covering tears of the kingdom a lot and that's probably going to be true up until the release date after all there's a ton of theories a ton of speculation and just a ton of information that's going to be coming out about tears of the kingdom so why not talk about it but let's go ahead and get into this video about tears of the kingdom so you might be asking yourself, what is this Zelda theory that you have? And it's probably not accurate is what it is. It's just more of an idea that I had, kind of a thought of like, hey, what if they do this? And that thought is that, well, people kind of have the idea that Zelda is going to die. And I don't think that she'll be dead per se. She may be in a death-like state. Meaning that when we see her fall... And this might be a way to make her playable. Um, or in some ways, a part of the working together idea that Nintendo seems to be pointing out when it comes to uh, the surveys and stuff that we talked about. That is that she's kind of dead. Kind of dead. But more kind of like a spirit tracks kind of situation to where maybe she's just a spirit. Um, and so maybe she's inhabiting the sword. Now I know that there's a theory out there that Fee's inhabiting the, the, the sword, and Fee could still be inhabiting the sword. We won't really know um, until, again, the game officially comes out, and then we'll know for sure exactly what, if anything, is inhabiting the sword. Um, but it could be Zelda is inhabiting the hilt of the sword, giving Link guidance along the way, or advising him on, on stuff that he gets, like when he gets an upgrade. Um... To the sword, let's say, or to uh, his Sheikah arm, or whatever the heck is going on with his arm, um, that, that she tells him about it, similar to how Fee is, almost like she's the assistant, she's the Navi, she is the Tattle, she is the Midna, what have you. She's basically the one that is telling Link about how to use stuff, kind of like how she did in Phantom Hourglass uh, when she was the spirit. Now. Uh, I'm not Phantom Hourglass. Spirit Tracks, my apologies. Now, could we see her still? Yeah, it's possible that we could still see her. Um, she may just be a disembodied voice, but we may still see, um, you know, stuff like that. Where maybe she shows up in like a spirit form every now and then whenever we, we, we defeat a temple. Um, there are current rumors going around that temples and all that, uh, proper dungeons are going to be up in the sky, uh, which would be a great explanation as to why there weren't dungeons in Breath of the Wild, because they were in the sky. And, um, yeah, I think it would be interesting, and then, what I'm hoping, because we've seen various stuff, right, where Ling's arm is torn up. It's burnt up, it's brown. Except for this new arm or whatever. Whatever that arm is, whether it's Zonai, whether it's some kind of a Twilight, uh, which I still kind of think it might be some kind of something to do with the Twilight Realm. Um, that's another theory video altogether, though. I think that what happens is that the Tears of the Kingdom are actually Zelda. And what do I mean by that? Well, maybe Ganondorf in some way has to stop her because... He knows that she's the one that can stop her, based upon the fact that she's basically, you know, the goddess Hylia. Um, so maybe what you need to do is go gather these tears, these pieces that are her, are her essence, essentially, her spiritual essence, um, that Ganondorf has separated to keep her from becoming the goddess Hylia, um, or taking on the goddess's power, what have you. And so every time you beat a dungeon, or every time, you know, you beat a guardian or something 
I call them guardians. I know that they're really the bosses of the game, but they're the ones that are protecting the essences of Zelda, more or less. You know, they're the ones that are basically being like, okay, we're going to hide the tears. Um, which is another idea that I kind of had of the tears of the kingdom are basically um, be the people. Because, like, we've seen little flames or whatever, the people are saying it's like it's the twilight. So that could easily just be because they look like tears, they're the tears of the kingdom. Or it could literally be because Zelda has cried over the kingdom and these are literally parts of her. Either way, I think it, I still think it's going to work. Again, only time will tell until we actually play the game to know for sure. But I think that in some ways, it's the spirit of Zelda. And I think it'll be interesting if she's inhabiting the sword, sort of guiding Link along the way. Every time... Um, you gather a new tier. Um, a part of her is restored, and you sort of have to bring her back, kind of like how you did with Zelda Two, where there is um, she's in a coma or something. Let's just say. Um, and I think that that's going to kind of fit into it because if you look at the beginning parts uh, that we've seen before, like the wall or whatever, and you see how Zelda's kind of there, kind of like levitating. It's almost like she's in a coma. But it's in a spiritual kind of sense where she's like levitating. And then there's a second Zelda that as we see when like we reach out or whatever. Um, that could easily be the goddess Hylia. It could be Zelda's and now the goddess Hylia form. And so it's a prophecy that when she becomes the goddess Hylia, her and Link will like transfer power or something like that. And be able to stop Ganondorf because it goes to uh, the Master Sword. Or maybe it's really uh, demise the whole time and so... I mean, I still hold on to the theory, my original theory, that it's Fee that's in the sword. And so you have to rebuild the the Master Sword by going back to the past and stuff like that. But if they don't do that, I think this is a very comparable theory, a very comparable speculation, if you will, that Zelda is in some kind of a coma, or her body is somehow lost, or needs to be restored. And so it's almost like gathering the Triforce in the original Legend of Zelda game, where you now have to find these seven pieces, these seven tiers of the kingdom, in order to restore her back, to be able to stop Ganondorf. Or Demise, or whoever the big bad in this game is. But that's just one speculation, that's just one idea. I know it sounds kind of outlandish, but I'm just kind of throwing an idea out there, a theory that I had... And, you know, honestly, it sounded better in my head until I said it out loud. But what do you guys think about this speculation? Do you think it's something that could possibly happen? Or do you think it's just outlandish and silly altogether? Either way, can't wait for Tears of the Kingdom. Can't wait for that game to come out. I think I'm still going to be talking about it a lot until then. Um, and I might even check out other people's theories, other people's um, ideas about features. And I might talk about them on here, just be like, hey, I think this is a really good idea. Um, but at the end of the day, I hope that all of you guys have a great day. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week. If you don't see any more of my videos this week, or if I don't make any more videos this week. And if I do make more videos, then I'll see you next time. Have a good one, everybody.